Greetings muggles, I'm Nika Chung. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great Hallows Day. As for me, I'm certainly having a great day. I'm rocking my first Harry Potter costume. I love this. I'm definitely team Gryffindor. And I got my favorite mug, you know, with Hedwig on here. He is so adorable. Some good tea. I have classes with Draco Malfoy. And sometimes, you know, we cross paths. You know, he can be a little small there and there. But I know deep down, he is a prankster indeed. Do not let his smile fool you. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> so, I'm back with another Three Stooges Halloween episode. Spook Louder that debuted in 1943, starring Mo Larry Curley, and additionally starring Simona Bonafierce, Charles Middleton, Stanley Brown, Shirley Patterson, and John Charles Coughlin. As the story follows, the Three Stooges are a salesman selling a weight-reducing machine. They have no luck until they show up at this house of an eccentric inventor when they're hired as caretakers when the scientist goes to Washington to demonstrate his death ray machine to the government. The boys are left to guard his house and must contend with enemy spies and with a mysterious pie thrower. Seriously, pie thrower? Sounds hilarious to me. <laughs> so y'all, let's jump right episode of the Three Stooges Spook Louder. Roll the clip. Professor Dunkfeather is concentrating. What is he looking for in that skull? Ah, just as I suspected, she had dandruff. Proving absolutely a case of suicide. What is it, Perkins? <laughs> this is Mr. Wallace from the Times. He's come to interview you. Excellent. That will be all, Perkins. Uh, Professor Dunkfeather, my paper wants the inside story on the breaking up of the great spy ring. By far the strangest case in all my experience. It began one day when three master salesmen were canvassing from house to house. If we don't sell one of these reducing machines today, the landlady said we'd be sleeping on the sidewalk. Say, I stopped the landlady this morning. How? I says to her, do you want us to be patriotic and buy war bonds, or do you want us to be unpatriotic and pay the rent? <laughs> you had her there. That's what I thought. But if we don't pay the rent, we still sleep on the sidewalk. Yes. Good day, madam. We... <coughs> Pardon me. We represent the Miracle Reducing Machine Company, Inc. Our machine is guaranteed to take off 10 pounds a day. Are you kidding? She's pure bones. <coughs> As I said before, <laughs> this remarkable machine puts on 10 pounds an hour. No, I don't want any. You peddlers are driving me crazy. Precisely why we are here, madam. We too loathe those scarless door-to-door -door leeches. My vice president will show you exactly what I mean. Show her, vice. Well, I'll take one of those. Thank you. That'll be 50 cents. Thank you. Now about this remarkable machine of ours. You know, we generally get what the... <laughs> oh! <laughs> she ain't interested. What are you walking into me for? I almost Seriously? Had a the miracle machine of the age. And if they increase the voltage, you can knock off 20 pounds. <laughs> really? Really. Ready? Contact! 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 <laughs> that machine's crazy. <laughs> Feel those pounds oozing off? Yes. Yes. And if you get tired of using it as a reducing machine, it makes a remarkable cocktail shaker. I'll take one. The the things they sold back in the days. <laughs> hey, it's off. Oh, I spelled 50. Make it 75. What did you say? I say it's nice to be alive. <laughs> Wonderful rain we had last night. Marvelous. It simply drenched the place. Practically wet everything. <laughs> <laughs> Curly is crazy. <laughs> what happened? You know what happened? You get out of here! What happened? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think he's going to be good? Yeah, don't come back. What has that got to do with the spy ring? Nothing. 
But late that same day, they came to the home of Graves, the great inventor. They had been walking for miles and miles and miles. Miles? Boy, what a neighborhood. This is the first house we've come to in five miles. Guy lives here, must be a hermit. Yeah. If we don't sell anything here, me and my feet is quitting. What is it? What's what? I didn't say nothing. No, but I did. Shut up. What do you want? <laughs> we want to see the owner on important business. This guy don't want to buy nothing. No, he's heavy enough. Go ahead. Come on. Don't be chicken, Charlie. If we didn't do nothing. Say, what's the idea of all the clocks? Mr. Graves, the master, will know exactly what time it is in all countries. What time is it? Shh. In two seconds, it'll be five o'clock in Russia. Yo, ho, 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 ho. Did he say yo, hey, ho? Hey, let's come back at 12 o'clock and hear the whole song. Shut up. Mr. Graves is in his den. Follow me. Go ahead. Okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> what country are you from? <laughs> Caretakers, fine, fine. Now your wages are a hundred dollars a month, room and board. But we're not a month. month. Yes, we are. <laughs> really? I want you to look out for spies, especially Jap spies. That was a lot of money back then. Not a Jap, are you? Yeah. Me a Jap? <laughs> I'll tell you. Wait a minute. He meant sap, not Jap. Oh. <laughs> I want one of you boys to take this gun, just in case. Are you sure you know how to handle that gun? Are you kidding? That's the front end, that's the back end, this is the gimmick you pull. <laughs> this was the gun. Then Graves was the master spy. I'll tell the story. Mr. Graves was called away on a secret mission. So he had the three salesmen brought to his den, where he gave them instructions. Gentlemen, I've been called away to Washington to demonstrate my new death ray machine. It will destroy millions. Yeah, but what's that got really? to do with us? Just this. While I'm gone, hey, I put anything's two possible. sleep in the house. So enemy spies won't break in and steal any of my invention. If enemy spies get fresh with us, I'll dash their head against the wall. I'll chop off their arms. I'll break their rear doors. I'll destroy them. I'll tear them. Yeah. If an emergency arises, use this bomb. It will destroy everything and everybody. Oh, we won't need that. As long as I got my old trusty shooting iron. <laughs> Be careful with that thing. You got nothing to worry about. I unloaded it, see? <laughs> you unloaded it, huh? I'll unload your brains if you got any. <laughs> now remember, boys. You will defend my property until your life's blood flows down the floor in rivers. Goodbye. Okay, boss, you got nothing to worry about. Uh, did he say blood? I'm anemic. <laughs> there goes Graves and his bodyguard. This is our chance. What about those three guys in the house? We'll take care of them. What do you suppose I got these outfits for? I'll signal when I get inside. <laughs> The place is all locked up, and we're the only ones in here. Oh, Rachmaninoff's prelude. And believe me, that's a hard piece. May I have this dance? <laughs> Say, you're not a bad dancer. Yeah, you dance like you got your legs on backwards. Oh, how about you tell it to all the boys? <laughs> Wait a minute. If we're here alone, who's playing the piano? What difference does it They've entered the macabre. <laughs> hey, there's nobody there. Let's sneak up on them. Go ahead. Ah, look. <laughs> oh, it's a good <laughs> Kicking on the keys. <laughs> yeah, see, we got nothing to worry about. Oh, he's kind of sound. He can play some good piano. <laughs> that is some serious pie throwing. But, Professor, <laughs> who threw the pie? That was one of the mysteries. You will see as I continue. The next thing that happened, 
The salesmen were in a conference. What was that? Short wave. Take it down. Quick. What the? What's it say? Ah, <laughs> oh, shut up. What's that mean? <laughs> you two? We can't come to this place right unless we split up. You go in the den. You go in the basement. Go ahead, get started. That's a strange story, Professor, but who was throwing those pies? Ah, wouldn't you like to know? But it wait. gets better. <laughs> right after that, there was something else happened that baffled description. Nothing around here to be afraid of, I hope. <laughs> Poor Mo. Hey Mo, there's nobody here. Where'd he go? I don't know. Hey Mo! 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 Where are you? How to make friends and keep them. Four volumes. Where's the other one? No! <laughs> What's the matter? Did you see what happened? No. No? no? Nothing. Stand aside. It has a bow with you, Curly, not Larry. And now, look out. An octopus. <laughs> oh my goodness, poor Mo. Was that you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll knock your head right through your socks. I... What the? <laughs> this parker has got some serious good aim. <laughs> he can definitely go in the baseball league. <laughs> That's scary, you almost lost your hair. these guys away. I just saw the devil. He stabbed me right in the back with his pitchfork. He had flames coming out of his nose. He had a big long... Oh, 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 oh,
early. <laughs> Storyteller. <laughs> this was hilarious. I enjoyed this. This episode was hilarious. I was so curious who's actually throwing those pies so well directly right into the face. And I think the house was haunted. The owner knew who was going to try to break into his home and he came well prepared. Definitely telling the stooges in case of anything, you know, I got some grenades. I that was hilarious, especially how he was throwing the bomb right at those guys and they just like exploded way far back. And they're like, <laughs> definitely one of my favorite parts of the episode was hearing the sound effect when the pie was gonna be aiming at the face. And the stooge is selling this interesting contraction that can help you to lose weight, gearing towards all the ladies, especially the lady that was so skinny. I think they should have just definitely walked away when they saw her. Like she was tall and she was fit. So she didn't need anything at all. <laughs> And the guy that was narrating the story about the Stooges, he was actually pretty good. Like really hilarious. And the younger detective, he was eager to know what was going to happen next. As he's telling the story, he looks like he's so fascinated by it, by the way how his eyes look. And at the end, you hear the sound and it's like, oh boy, that pie's gonna hit his face again. <laughs> I was so curious y'all, like who threw that pie? I think the guy knew there was a ghost living in his house. So you never know, but that's also funny. one more thing. Mo, Larry, Curly were fantastic in this film short, especially when the reactions of seeing monsters and the balloon behind Curly was like floating and people were just getting so scared. I'm like, it's just a balloon. <laughs> this was truly a funny Halloween film short. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys. See you next pictures. Cheers. Have a fantastic Hollow's day. That is a wrap. Now, where to begin? The famous detective, my genius brother. He will have all the answers. And Nola. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. Just makes my head itch. <laughs>